Hello. Y'all see the state of what the black parent is in, okay? Y'all see that going on, okay? So that means we ain't got no time to play, you know, because when we, we think and see stuff beautiful, we think we could slow poke and be turtles and stuff like that. So, um, I don't know what what's going to be the topic on Monday's show, Stay as a Black Parent, do save your alarms. For those that are requesting me to personally call them, are you serious? Do NBC or ABC really personally call people unless you know? Come on now. The phones cost three and six hundred dollars. Use it for productive stuff. Save it in your okay. There's an app. app, app. Now I mean, I don't have, but y'all got all these games and stuff like like you take the time to the uh, you know produce up in there. You could do it for the apps. But there's an app called Color Notes. Uh, I'm giving them free promotion, but you know if it helps you do what you need to do, you know if you're really serious, I'm not going to be running behind. You know what I'm saying? Look, people just got to get more together. I can't have nothing you know, hold me down and nobody else that's really, you know, that, know they got a whole bunch of things going on. Have anything to hold them down. I, I got to get there and call my own appointments, you know, you know, so I be full, full run and get my own. So like, wait, hold up. I'm supposed to, you know, mm-mm. So I got, you know, saving in your phone, 7 p.m. East Coast, New York, Philly, uh, Carolina's time. Number is 914-803-4571. State of the Black Parent Blog Talk Radio Show. There are shows throughout the week on the Initiative Radio Network. So definitely go to Blog Talk Radio. Put in the Initiative Radio Network. Uh, you will have the flyer. Um, I don't know what Monday show is going to be. I don't know. And I'm not going to rush myself to think about it. I, I may think about it like two hours before the show. I may really do that. Um, last week we spoke on sickle cell traits. And we spoke about the event. And so, therefore, you can come to the, come to the Google Plus timeline to listen to the archives. I w won't talk about it here. No. You go to the timeline and di directly listen to the show. And you can share it. On your left-hand side is the Pinterest, the Twitter, and, and they have so many social medias on there that you can, if you're on it, you can share it on there. Um, so, definitely. Um... Also, you know, engage with us on Twitter, Pinterest, and Google+. Plus. That's where we're engaging um, there forward. Um, if anyone asks about Facebook, I do check messages on there, but it's not, you know, it, it's just not going to be the major platform for, for this year. Um, you know, you, you can send an inbox, you can read what's on. It's going to be some updates posted on the timeline. It, it will be that, but it's not going to be like a major, you know, all the information, you know, because I, I, I know great and really well, you know, that's going to soon be cut out from Facebook. Like, all you're going to do is radio show, radio show. That's all that's going to be on there. Now, why I'm telling that, okay. Um, You know, how, you know you'll find out when you find, just like with anything, you know. Um, so, uh, definitely, um, you know, there's, there's a lot going on, what I want to talk about, um, well, actually last week, it was not, you know, sickle cell disease and the trait are related, but it was more in particular to, for those that have a sickle cell trait, uh, for last week's show. Um, definitely encourage you to listen to that show. Um, if you go to um, Blog Talk Radio and you put in, um, matter of fact, you go to the Pinterest board, all the shows are on the, uh, if you go to the Pinterest board, uh, it's STE Black Parent. If you go to the Pinterest board, you click the bottom of the pin and you're able to listen to, um, Listen to the archive show, and I'm I believe I'm sure that show is definitely on there. Um, but the title of this video is advice. I'm gonna do another video about childcare applications. I'm taking. I'm not specifically hiring, um, but definitely in some plans in the work. Definitely to have people resumes and portfolio on file. Your you know you have a business. Um, 
there's some things in the works, but it's definitely I don't want to be getting the plans. And I I rather have the resumes and port you know your portfolio. I rather have that and then proceed as forward. You know, so far you know you already know what we do. We do a lot of legislative interaction, whether I directly or indirectly do it. Um, also, uh, you know, um, you know, also with with referrals. Uh, so that's uh, definitely a part of it. Um, it's not going to be, it's, so it doesn't guarantee you, and it, it's not a contract. So do understand that. So you're presenting the information pretty much like, you know, presenting the information, uh, presenting your your offers, you know, if, you, if you're, uh, you know, if I interview or whether you be considered for something. Um, so I definitely would be doing a video person toward that. Um... I guess it's so much. It's so much to discuss. So I guess just to where everything going like 300 miles for an hour. So where it's like, okay, hold up, wait, 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 hold up. Okay, I remember at least one or two was going through my head. So much going through. Um, come on, keep still. Okay. Uh, all right. Um, I also want to do a video about um uh, speech delay. <laughs> And I believe I'm late in doing it. Um, I, I can't say what I believe. I believe I'm late in doing it. I guess, it, you know, it is what it is. Um, but definitely for parents um, that have that uh, matter. So I do a video if, if I don't, if you don't, it don't come up today. It definitely will be within the next two weeks. So it could be tomorrow or it could be 12 days from now. Um, also... Um, we'll be doing a, um, another video, uh, regarding pregnancy. If you want to know where we're going forward, definitely listen to the archive show, to the archive show, you know, for about the event and tell you where I'm going forward. Um, uh, what I'm going to definitely mention is about the vaccine. Um, I did an article on Our Black Web, Vaccines and Capitalism. And, um, oh, another other video I'm going to do is called Regrets. Regrets as a parent. So, tune into that video. Either way, whether my hair look good or don't, it don't stop me from being a parent. Still have to take care of the child, clean the child. Um, you know. You got to still take care of everything, you know. Some people look good, but that don't mean they place look, you know what I'm saying? They place look, you know, in present, you know. It, it's clean, and if I got to sacrifice looking a little bad for it, I don't mind. You know, because uh, I can't, I'm not a magician, and I can't do everything. Yeah. Um... So that's the videos I plan on doing for today. But this video is about advice. And so as I speak about uh, advice, uh, the advice uh, that I want to speak on is, you know, definitely I'm giving, I guess I'm trying to know the word like a poly direction, poly angle um, speaking. <laughs> so... No. Come on, keep still. Keep still. No, keep still. You don't feel well, but you're very active, okay? Like, somebody really would not be able to tell. Um. Go wash your face, okay? <laughs> go wash your face. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, go clean up your face. Yeah. So, um, come on, now you want to act like a baby. Yeah, you're acting like a baby. Um, you know, there, a lot of times people, you know what I'm saying, you always have to think, you know, you think back through life and you analyze stuff, you know, about people that was genuine, what they had, what people said. They may not have said it <laughs> toward the right uh, angle. 
Or they may not have said it with the right, you know, the right comfort, the right hit to the heart, but it was true what they said. Um, and some people, they said stuff that you knew it wasn't right, but you just followed it kind of thing. And then, you know, some things just was a cultural, you know, how most people felt about you due to social development. You know, you, you don't be understanding. It's like you got to come to earth. And it's like you got to come being perfect. You got to predict who is for your good, predict who is for your bad. And how anybody going to tell you that you shouldn't hang around bad friends? And stuff like that. When a lot of times you go to these schools and preachers and these school and <laughs> principals, and they have who they think is good and stuff, and they usually can be a bad influence or so forth like that. Sometimes, yeah. or they could be manipulative. Um, you know, and you have to really think when somebody gives you advice, you have to really consider. Okay, they're giving this advice here. Are they giving this advice if they seriously was in this situation? Or if they felt uh, in the self-esteem um, that I feel. Because some people feel they got a, a, a way of feeling like, okay, well, if you're stupid, you, you deserve to be treated stupid. That's like, you know what I'm saying? You know, those people are not trustworthy. Um, they, they have this thing. They think whatever their opinion is of how to treat people is how things should go. And that's the final tattoo and stuff like that to it. And, like, it'd be way over the limit because it's not like you're even applying universal mm -hmm. math or social studies to what you're saying. Mm -hmm. So they have their opinion. And then, you know, a lot of times when you get around people like that, you end up picking up those ways, too. And I had to, you know, I did when I was younger. <laughs> and I may have did it a little bit while I was a young adult. Um, you know, but I've even had people tell me, oh, you too good, you got too many, um, you got too many Mars, you bougie. And this, and the stuff that they, they, they get there and they would say that I'm bougie about, it's like, oh, you're supposed to wash your hands before, uh, you know, serving someone or, or serving a child or changing their diaper. If you use the bathroom, you're supposed to wash them. No, don't do that. Um... <laughs> So, you know, just give them a sample. Uh, uh, no, 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 do not. So, just giving a sample of, you know, talking about advice. You always have to think with extra math. Um, is the advice someone giving you? Are they giving that advice if they truly was you? Or are they giving that advice because they, they feel that you're generic to them? Um... And a lot of people feel, and then there's a lot of people, they treat you based on the way that your, uh, your kin folks treat you. However your kin folks uh, treat you or the white man interprets you is how they, how they treat you too. Um, uh -uh. Don't do that. Don't do that. Um, this is very playful. Uh, so with the advice, you have to be real. Uh, you have to really be cautious of taking advice. Uh, advice from people. Um. <laughs> And then a lot of people, they'll, they'll get there, and something I definitely have to speak on to many people. They'll be the main people that got there, and they, they scorned you, they was cruel to you. And then when you start following up on the antagony that they did to you, they didn't want to come back and, and, and criticize you on that too. 
and then they want to call, you know what I'm saying, then they want to say, well, you ought to be ashamed, you did this and that, they'll be like, okay, I'm going to give you a perfect example. Somebody get there, like, okay, in school, somebody mm -hmm. say, well, I wouldn't dare let my mom put that kind of clothes on me. I wouldn't dare let my hair be calm like that. I, you know, I wouldn't dare let myself get, I wouldn't dare let myself get treated like that. I wouldn't dare let nobody handle me like that. Then when you start getting there fighting, you're like, okay, yeah, they're right, this and that. Then when you start, then when you are doing it, or start doing, no, no, the start thing, they're cheering. Then when you are doing it, and you stay to it, it's like, you wrong for that. Oh, no, you know what I'm saying? They, they, they all answer them. Oh, well, you can go back, and you can, um, you go back. You, 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 you ought to go back and, no, 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 you should have thought about that before you started your, you know, I can forgive if you say something one time, but when you start saying something two, with like, a dozen and bubble time, and that's what, with, with a situation with myself, I, uh, hold up, weren't you the same person that wanted to altercate with me because of the way my clothes was, because I wasn't in style enough, because, uh, you felt that, uh, <laughs> that I wasn't impressive or stylish. You know, you the same person wants to fight me for that. But now I'm standing up for myself or I'm taking a different route. Now you got something still to say about it? So I'm going to do, do me. But you ain't serious at what you say. You you know what you was doing because you know what? A lot of people tell you, oh, you never know what people's dad advise you on something. But you never know the other side of the equation of what they tolerate to keep themselves going. Sometimes I hear people they they be complaining about some stuff, but they like the material joy of it and stuff like that. But they feel that they need more. But you know, so far as for myself, it's like I, I ask for the you know the base respect. You know, everybody wants something nice. It ain't automatic, but it ought to be considered a plan. Then you know, some people they know they mean what they mean, and that's who they want to be, and they meant that for you. Some of them only because you fought back. They, they, they don't mean that they change. They might have changed towards you. But they still got away. They're going to be looking for their next victim. Some people will get there and they will, uh, they, they will get there and, um, you know, they, they, they just, they'll tell you something like, okay, growing up, like, if I, you know, I had some, like, some, some ideas or whatever my interest was. Ain't nobody doing that. You ain't gonna never be no way. Ain't nobody gonna, ain't no, you know, all that kind of stuff like that. And it just was not, you know, it was within uh, the famine and with other people in the town and the church. And, you know, not, see, and then when you, you know what I'm saying, you're not close enough and they don't know what's going on with you. They can inquire on you, but you can't inquire with them or on them. Then they want to tell you how you need to be forgiven, how you overreacting to such, <laughs> no. And then they want to tell you, well, you know, and, you know, those people aren't trustworthy. Then you had the one, they'll get there and tell you what you aren't, you like, what you shouldn't put up on a job, what you shouldn't take as what's owed to you, somebody that did you wrong, but they'll get there and they'll be getting it. Or they'll be trying to get it. So you got to be careful of the advice that people uh, have, have for you. And they're always trying to make you feel in the generic position so they can keep their manipulative control. And, you know, um... <laughs> You know, it, 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 you know, my thing is, okay, if you know, a thing I personally want to advise about, if you know that you come from a bad situation, and especially if you're a teenager, why would you bring your children, be, you know what I'm saying, having children to bring up in that situation? Unless you're taking them away from that situation. Then you have children with somebody you trust, and they show you that you're better and so forth like that. But... They had a headline news of a lady, she had nine children at 27 years old, 
if you have one or two, but number three, you got to wake up, okay? And it's like a whole mm. hold up because somebody got to watch the children, okay? We can't always depend on child care. It, it's almost anybody that's ha or having child care centers. <laughs> You're never not going to know 100% of what's uh, going on with your child, but you definitely will hope, okay, 95% of my child is well taken care of and so forth like that. But why have that worry on you, you know what I'm saying, if you don't? Um, and, and then, you know what I'm saying, you got to, the government make the laws or, or how you to care and do with your children and stuff like that. That's why you got to get there and stand against it before the, before the ink drops on the paper, okay? You know, like this Monica had that song before the beat, beat, drop, drop, drop. Okay, that's how it needs to be for the parenting of our children. Um, another advice I would have, uh, for anyone... I'm sure it's, I'm sure I'll this video go on for hours. Oh gosh, this video is 20 minutes. So let me do, I'm going to do a part two to it and I'll be back, okay?